Hey guys, Piyush here from Technopedia and today we are going to review the RR ROM for Galaxy Note 2. The RR ROM stands for Resurrection Remix ROM. Okay, let's turn on the phone. Please make sure you have root and an Android backup before installing this ROM. Okay, so here is our boot animation. The boot animation resembles to the NFS game logo, which is really awesome. Let me just fast forward the boot as it takes a while. Okay, so here's the lock screen. Let's quickly jump into the settings first. see the android version and other information okay so the android version is 6.0.1 and this rom is based on cm13 that's the android game okay that's nice out the room. Here is our app drawer. As you can see the room is very snappy. We aren't facing any lag still now. You can see it performs very well. Here is our dialer app. It's similar to the previous rooms. Here is our messaging app that hasn't changed either here's the CM13 browser this browser also works great here's our camera app let's try to take a picture As you can see it's performing well but sometimes we face an error which says cannot connect to the camera but we will see that later on here is our google folder As you can see all the apps of google ok that's nice Now let's check out the audio effects app. This app is inbuilt. This is the inbuilt audio manager which we get in this room. You can set various options for headset, speaker, wireless and USB as well. Okay, that's nice. As you can see, we can turn it off as well. Okay, let's check the clock app. Here is our clock app. This is also similar to these previous rooms. We have alarm clock, stopwatch, and countdown timer. Here is our gallery. As you can see, it's very nice and fast. We also get the kernel auditor app inbuilt into this room. This is the new version of kernel auditor app. As you can see it's very refined now. You can see all the cores on the top and their usage as well. You can get whole lot of options from the sidebar. You can also swipe for more options as you can see. The kernel Auditor app is very nice. You can customize our phone to a great extent with this. As you can see we have got so many options. Here is our CPU option. We can change the maximum and minimum frequency play with the governor as well. 
you can tune the governor as well. We have got the option of CPU, voltage, battery, input output scheduler and so many more. That's really nice. We can also create some of our predefined options in this app which can be applied during the boot. As you can see, there are so many things to play with in this app. Let me just reduce the brightness. Okay. Now let's see the music app. Music app uh, is also the same. Okay, here's the now playing app. Here are all our options for the music player. That's nice. We also get the lock screen visualizer, which looks really awesome. See, we aren't facing any issues with the music. Now let's try. We also get the screen recorder app. Here's the Omni Switch app. It's a recent app switcher with a whole lot of options. check them out as you can see here are our recent apps this omni switch replaces the original recent app switcher as you can see we get a lot of options with this omni switch that was the clear all app we can directly jump into the settings Oh, we are also getting an app drawer. That's really awesome. This button switches to the last app which we visited. Let's check it once again. Okay, so like this, we can jump into the last app which we visited. Till now this room performs very well, we were using it for a couple of days. Themes are also working in this room. You can also download some of the themes from Play Store. Let's give it a try. Ok as you can see all the available themes are listed here. As you can see it's downloading the stock theme is very well so we don't need for so we don't need any theme for now we'll check it later. the only problem which we face in CM room is the S pen as we don't have any features of it but we can still use it for scrolling typing and switching between the apps as well as you can see we don't have any S note feature, air command or etc. But still we can use it for scroll. The button on the S pen doesn't work in this row. Okay. Customize the status bar as well. You can add different tiles. As you can 
CVI at tile option at the bottom. Okay, whole lot of options are available here. We can also delete the tiles as well. So that's really amazing. In previous CM13 ROM, the status bar was scrollable, which means some of the tiles were displayed on the other tab. But okay, that's not the problem. As you can see, the settings are also themed nicely. Here are other options for the status bar on positioning of the clock, battery percentage you can also customize the color ok that's really nice here is the battery status style you can choose which battery icon we want currently it's in portrait as you can see as you can see the battery icon has switched to the landscape the only text option is also available you can also hide the battery icon so that's nice we get so many options with CM ROM which is really a great thing we also have the carrier label as you can see we can customize it currently it's Technopedia So many options are available here also. We also have the brightness control. As you can see it works flawlessly. Double tap to sleep is also working. Ok that's really awesome features. Here's the notification drawer options. Okay. Let's see what else we have got. Okay. Here are the animation. Gesture Anywhere app is really really nice. Let's give it a try. You can see three finger gesture for a screenshot. It's working. Very nice. We can define so many gestures for different different apps. Like we can try adding some gesture. Okay, let's try adding email. to set up it first. Let's try some other app. Mm, we can choose battery, okay. We'll draw a B for it. Okay, and we'll click done. Now let's give it a try. Okay, let's draw the B. Okay, as you can see how quickly it was we have the C for camera as you can see how quicker how quickly it launches the camera this room also supports multi window which is really really nice Give it a try. 
we have turned on the multi window mode as you can see we are getting option for multi window on the recent apps okay it's taking uh, some time to load as you can see the multi window is working great no issues with it Uh, here are some of the bugs which we noticed the first bug which we noticed is the camera error sometimes the camera app gives error that it cannot connect to the camera but the solution for that is you need to install an app called the camera restarter app that will sort all the issues the second thing we noticed is the screen wake problem the screen doesn't wake when call arrives sometimes we manual we have to manually press the power button to wake the screen and the third one is booting time the booting time is uh, more than other rooms so that was it no major bugs are noticed till now so that was it for today guys thank you so much for watching you can also check our other rooms which are listed down below and please don't forget to hit the subscribe button thank you bye bye